Welcome to In 2 Minutes, where I quickly break down a game without spoilers in under 2 minutes. Today, we'll be looking at Peglin. Do you like Peg- Do you like Pegling? Do you like deck building roguelikes? Do you like balls? Well, Peglin is the game for you. This combination of classic Peggle action and the usual deck builder elements like items and shops and having bad cards or in this case orbs that you can't seem to get rid of. You have a randomly generated map with a set structure for each area. You navigate said map with Pegling. Almost everything is done on a pegboard, which means yes, there is a chance that you go the completely wrong way. You start with nothing more than a few rocks and a knife, but you can get new orbs, move ones you don't like, and upgrade them to make them stronger. In combat, you launch your orbs at pegs. Each peg increases the damage dealt to the targeted enemy. Hit the exclamation point pegs to turn further peg hits into critical hits. Hit the R pegs to refresh the board. Hit the bomb pegs twice to detonate them and deal a set amount of damage to all enemies. And don't forget to collect the gold trap and various pegs on the board. Once your orb leaves the board, enemies will get their turn. Spending all your orbs means you need to take a round to reload. You also have the ability to discard orbs a set amount of times per turn. Make it through the map, gather stronger orbs and powerful relics at shops and event nodes so you can get that serotonin bomb of hearing many big hits as your damage numbers grow ever larger and larger and larger. So grab your orbs, step into the shoes of the adorable titular Peglin, and peggle your enemies into submission in Peglin.